Hey, what's up everyone? This is Batten5. It has been a long time since I've done one of these Illuminati is bullshit videos. This is going to be Illuminati, the Illuminati is bullshit part whatever. I don't even remember what I'm up to. Um, but that was one of my first videos I had made back in 2009. I can't believe it's been that long. So, back then I wasn't as confident as I was, I mean, as I am now, talking in front of a camera. But, like that old video, this is going to be edit free. I'm just going to kind of let... My ideas flow, I don't have any idea where exactly I'm going to be going, it's just going to be a rant. And as a special little a treat, I guess, once again I'm wearing the same shirt I wore in that video, and this might be the same hat, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I I believe so. I know it was a black hat, but I, I usually don't wear hats anymore, and I think I'm about 10 pounds lighter than I used to be, and for tradition's sake, I'm drinking. For those of you who are new subscribers... The thing is, I was drinking back then in my videos, and I didn't have a good editing program. Uh, Windows Media, I mean, uh, Windows Movie Maker, whatever the hell it was called back then, didn't even work. So I had to just go shoot from the hip and not edit anything and just hope I didn't fuck it up. And also, I was working within the uh, restraints of the 10-minute um, time limit that I had back then. So... I drink because um, a lot of people, yeah, you just drink your beer and you go to sleep and you know, you're a sheep and all this. So I do it just to fuck with them because even when I'm drunk, I'm better than a lot of these fuckers. Also, I'm trying to get the a similar setting to back then. I just, I don't know. I've been feeling nostalgic lately. So anyway, yeah, Illuminati is bullshit. Now, surprisingly, um, those videos are my most watched videos. And it seems like a lot of people are on my side, I mean, they, they have plenty of hate on them, don't, don't get me wrong, there are tons of Illuminati believers, um, conspiracy theorists, NWO believers, whatever, and they come on and they try to, um, prove me wrong, even though I'm not saying, I'm not making any claim, I'm just saying that's bullshit, okay, like, I'm not saying it's untrue, I'm basically saying it's poppycock, it's, it's humbug, it's just, it's nothing, okay, there's nothing there, it's unfalsifiable, oddly enough, whenever you tell someone, <laughs> So my friends are good examples of this, and they're going to be coming up in this fucking video. I said, it's unfalsifiable. And they said, yeah, you can't prove it false. I'm like, do you know what unfalsifiable is? And, of course, they don't know. So I have to explain to them that what they do in science, to prove something is a fact, or something is real or true, etc., they try to disprove it. That's called falsification. So, and a lot of you guys probably already know this, so I have to explain it to these fucking morons, and most of them are stoners, so... It, it, and oddly enough, so many of the conspiracy theorists that I've run across, they're stoners. It seems like... And my friends are a great example of this. Uh, or great examples, I should say. They get high, they read about this shit, and it's even worse now because they have smartphones, so they could just look up a bunch of bullshit. They don't have to have access to a computer and all that. They look it up, and they parrot it. And they say, see, it says right here. Now, one of my friends, Charles, I've talked about him in some of my other Illuminati videos. Anytime I ever ask for proof of any of this shit, he always says, Infowars. Infowars. And? Infowars. That, that's your source right there. Okay, so let me get this straight. And by the way, this guy is at least an agnostic. I, I don't know if he's full-blown atheist, but I know he at least like, is on the fence about the whole God thing. So, I could be wrong, uh, maybe he is an atheist, but I'll just say he's an agnostic slash atheist right now. So, this is what fucks me up. Because he, you know, says you know, he wants evidence for God and all this. However, when it comes to conspiracy theories, he believes it. Wholeheartedly. No evidence required. A good example of that is Behold a Pale Horse. He swallowed that shit like you wouldn't fucking believe. It was just, see, this is disgusting. That, that's the exact thing he said about it. He's like, it's disgusting. You know, that this shit's going to be happening soon. Right, how old is that book? And this shit still hasn't really happened. Like, the new model of the United States and all that bullshit. And yes, I have read it. I'm just like... At the time, I was still into, like, conspiracy theories. Because for those of you who don't know, I used to believe in all that shit. But I was still kind of like, okay, so when is this supposed to be getting underway? I mean, I'm getting a little freaked out, but it seems like it's not really happening. Anyway, I bring him up for a reason. Oddly, okay, so Facebook. He's friends with me and my brother on Facebook. And, I mean, sometimes he posts things that are worthwhile, but late, lately it's just been like, you know, fuck the police. Um, 
thinks about conspiracy theories, politics, you know, he still thinks Hillary Clinton stole the election for Bernie Sanders. Like, no, she didn't steal it. Okay, more people voted for her. That's the way it goes. Bernie Sanders, I love the guy. I voted for him in the primaries. However, he's a French candidate. He's very left-wing. A lot of Democrats aren't that way inclined. But anyway, so he posted this video. And, I mean, it, it's fucking mind-blowing that he honestly thought these were good arguments. The video is about, it, it's a scientist speaking about this stuff that they can actually spray. It's a scientific uh, hypothesis. They can spray this stuff in the atmosphere to basically try to shield some of the sun's rays. Uh, to kind of uh, stifle some of the effects that man-made global warming is having on our planet. So you would think that he thinks that this is a good thing. Now, I mean, I don't know, because you know, he, he thinks he's a free thinker. And, and I love when conspiracy theorists, theorists use that term for themselves. Billy Corgan used it on... Alex Jones fucking show. It's like, oh, fuck you. Okay, you're not a free thinker, okay? Just because you think differently than other people doesn't mean that you're a free thinker, all right? You're swallowing this shit easily. You know, you're fucking bending over backwards to try to make facts fit. Anyway, so, you know, he's a free thinker, and so what does he do? Well, he says, if you don't think that there's proof of chemtrails, it's right here. And at first I just ignored it. I'm like, you know, whatever. You know, he's fucking insane. This isn't proof of it. This isn't proof of anything. It's talking uh, talking about a possible scientific hypothesis that could help the fucking environment. That could help us, you know, against the shit that we've done. So, my brother decided to chime in. And he was like, okay, dude. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you're not completely nutty, but you're kind of nutty. But this is not you know, proof of chemtrails. So Charles had to fucking bring me into it. He said, okay, Bill Maher Jr. slash Dave. So he dragged me into it. So I brought, it up, I brought it up like, hey, you know, since I've been dragged into this, he took that to me like my brother asked me to join in. Like, oh, you have to drag. I'm like, you did, motherfucker. You're the one that, okay, yeah, I did. Okay, then shut your fucking mouth or quit getting high because obviously you forget a lot of the shit you fucking said. So anyway, my brother is just pounding this motherfucker like, okay, People have been talking about chemtrails since the 70s. Since the 70s. And easily, you could prove it. Very, 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 very fucking easily. Blood tests. Air, pur uh, air purity tests. You could prove this shit. Because for those of you who don't know, which a lot of you probably know because you know someone that believes this shit about the chemtrails, what it is is the government is supposedly spraying gas on us, you know, in the very air that the politicians are breathing too, to basically make us more docile and more submissive. And even though you can see in the world we live in, um, not exactly the case. Um, people are still just as fucking violent as they've always been. Now, some people might say more so. I say no. People have always been fucked up. Just look at history. Look at, you know, how many bad things have been done. It's just more open. The media, you know, reports this stuff. We have constant access to information. Therefore... It seems like more is happening when it's probably about the same. Now, I cannot prove that, um, but that's my belief. Like, we're just, people are fucked up. So, that's supposedly what it's doing, even though, uh, what if you're a, you know, okay, you're not, like, an alum of the government. You know, you're a new senator, you know, anything, any level of fucking government. You're, in, you're a new government elected official. Obviously, you're in on this, right? Okay, well... How would, so what, do they have to have some kind of vaccine to counter all the effects of this? You know, there are so many stupid little questions you can bring up, like, okay, how do you explain this? You cannot predetermine from birth, because there are some people in Congress who may have been born, you know, after, you know, all this shit's happened. But, I mean, think about this for, like, just more than a couple of minutes, and you're going to start to say, wait... That doesn't make any sense because of this and this and this. And also my brother brought up a great point right here um, with, when it comes to this shit. He said, okay, why is it that no one is speaking out against this? That no one is saying anything about this? So Snowden and Manning, they were the only two fucking patriots to come forward with this shit because that's another thing about Alex Jones. He constantly talks about how he has these government documents. I have government documents. I can't do that voice for too long. It really fucked my throat up. But he has government documents that prove this. Which, he's never shown these government documents. He's just said he has them. It's sort of like when he said that he said after 9-11, they were going to blame Muslims for it. Which is funny because he hates Muslims. And um, also, I can't find any evidence of him saying that 
beforehand. It seems after it, yes, Al Qaeda, a group, uh, an extremist, mu- uh, extremist Muslim group, took credit for it. Okay, oh, but you you already said that. Whatever. And this is also the guy who you know doesn't believe in evolution. In fact, he was fucking up the stories between Piltdown Man and Nebraska Man. But he does all his research. So anyway, I mean. And my brother's doing a really good job of calling him out and just saying how fucking ludicrous all of this shit he's saying is. So what does he do? Because when you get into it with conspiracy theorists or like they make some kind of comment on your video or you make a comment towards them, either they ignore you because they have nothing. A good example of that, and I I believe I mentioned this story way back in the day when I was a conspiracy theorist. Uh, I This is back when I was on like web TV. So this was uh, late 90s, early 2000s. So I obviously don't have a copy of this, but I emailed one of these fuckers on these sites like, okay, well, Hitler, he was put in power by the Illuminati. Why was he taken out? What was their response? The Illumin- the Illuminati put Hitler in power. To which I responded like, yes, that I'm going off of this narrative, but why was he taken out? No response. So you either get that, or... More, it seems like it's about 50 50 for me. I don't know about anyone else, but they lash out. They get really pissed off that you don't believe them, you know, because they're saying shit that has no proof behind it, but they want you to believe it. And that's exactly what he fucking did here. And I've seen this happen before. It's not just him, this isn't just like a one off situation. I've seen this with so many people. They lash out and they start to ask these questions. That, oh, uh, see, I'll get him on this one. He said, okay, then what about 9-11? How do you, a jet fuel can't melt steel beams. And uh, I'm like, why are you asking me? You know, I, I am not a scientist, okay? You know, I'm not a scientist. I cannot explain the physics of combustible materials or combustion, anything like this. Have you gone to listen to the scientists? Because there was a show, sadly enough, I learned about it from The Amazing Atheist, and I fucking hate him, but uh, there was a show that had the guys who made that film, Loose Change, along with some scientists, and the scientists were saying, like, well, here's how this happened. And they were very calm and collected and, you know, very thoughtful, and the two, you know, little rich fucks, these trust fund assholes, they decide to lash out. And no, you're lying. And you're just saying, like, you're lying about this. Really, asshole, you grew up with money, so wouldn't you be a part of the group that's kind of running things? Oh, let me guess, you're one of the exceptions. Okay, well, you don't have any evidence to say that this shit's happening. You're you're asking questions. Your questions were fucking answered. You got mad that it wasn't the answer you wanted, so therefore you lash out. Anyhow, this is what he did. And then, so I responded to all this shit, you know, point by point. And, of course, you know, I think we're done now, Dave. Why? And I said, no, you threw the fucking gauntlet down. You fucking asked something. I'm answering some of your shit that I can't answer. And then I'm posing other questions to you. Of course he didn't fucking respond. It's like, you miserable fucking asshole. You know, really, you're the one that's going to go on and on and on about this. And I've called him out about this shit in the past. And, um, in fact, one time he got really mad because he said something. I called him out. It was conspiracy theorist shit. And I said... You know, he's like, you know, I don't know why you have to say stuff, you know, on these posts. I'm like, if you don't want someone to call you out, then don't post this shit. Don't tell me what to post, motherfucker. I didn't tell you what to post. I said, if you don't want fucking blowback, then you need to rethink what you're fucking posting. And if you don't want that, guess what? You don't post something like that. Don't post some political shit if someone who knows more than you can call you out on it. But him and a lot of his fucking friends do this, and I've had to annihilate them. And in fact, a few times, some of them have said, I know I'm not as smart as you, Dave. And by the way, I'm not saying I'm some, like, super genius, but they've told me from an early age that, yes, I'm well above average intelligence. I am not stupid at all. Like, okay, yeah, you're not as smart as me. Don't forget that, okay? Because I know more than you, and I think more than you. I'm not sitting there getting high all fucking day and coming up with some weird random bullshit about how the government's trying to fucking kill us but you know this is what fucks me up like you get into it with these people and they just say things and you're supposed to believe them and if you don't believe them oh yeah you well okay yeah enjoy that fema camp i've heard that quite a few times it's like really you're the one that believes the shit and not only that here's another thing that just blows my mind that they haven't thought about 
Because, I mean, me, this is why I stopped believing. Because I did think about this shit. And that is this. So, I hear all the time, the Illuminati has been controlling the world for a very long time. Okay? Let's go off of that narrative. We'll just, we'll, we'll say this for argument's sake here. So, the, they've been controlling everything. You know, they've been predetermining, like, all the elections, probably even sports, too, to some of these fuckers. They've predetermined all of it for a long time now. S some people say it's probably hundreds, if not thousands of years. And yes, I have heard people say that. Well, not heard them, but they've written this. Uh, some people say it's been since, like, the 1700s. Some people say it's been, you know, a fairly recent phenomena that's, you know, that this is occurring. So... They all want to talk, okay, well, enjoy, like, when they fully take over. What do you mean when they fully take over? So, right now, this is just, like, halfway point, I guess. So, because a lot of the, oh, fight the NWO. What's going to happen if we fight them? Things are going to be better? Okay, well, I really don't see how things can be much better. I don't really see, like, if this is actually occurring, how there's, if they're taken out of power and we become the humans we're supposed to be, that there's going to be some new age of enlightenment. I really don't see it. Life sucks, for the most part. I mean, I'm a pessimist and a fucking cynic. But I really do not see how you can improve much on this situation if certain people are taken out of power. Explain that to me. They run everything. Okay, well, I mean, I, I have things. I mean, me and my wife, we own this house. We both have jobs, and we get paid pretty decently. Um, we have nice things. We can go out and buy shit when we want. I mean, maybe not all the time, but enough that, you know, it, hey, life is pretty decent in that regard. But what would happen if we took them out of power? I mean, really, it, this is a, a serious question of mine. And no one has been able to answer, and that's the fucked up thing, because you'll hear a lot of people, well, I may not have the answers. Okay, then quit going around as if you do have the fucking answers, okay? I'm saying, I question your fucking beliefs, and you don't question your own. If you believe something, question it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's being intellectually honest. That's being smart, and that's trying to challenge yourself and make sure your belief system is actually logical. Then it makes sense that it's smart, that it, you know, it, it fits all the fucking parameters of being a good belief system. You know, why don't they do that? Again, a lot of the ones I know, they're fucking stoners and they'd rather just get high and fuck around and read bullshit from Alex Jones. And the funny thing about all these conspiracy theorist sites, like a sheep no more and all this, which before I get on, well, fuck it, I'll just make this point first. They all link to each other. There's no real news articles. And in fact, another friend of ours, he posted this bullshit conspiracy theory um, site. Um, it was a, a page. They said that Obama said we'd be better off under martial law. Now, real quick on this one. I had to point out, what was the context of this? This is a quote mine in a bunch of, No, no, he said that. Yes, he said that. He, okay, I'll take your word for it. He said that. But what was the context? What was the context of this? Compared to what? Obama is a super fucking smart guy. So he was probably making an analogy like, if Putin were our president, we'd be better off under martial law. Something like that. What was the, and then they had a whole fucking article based on this one goddamn quote mine, talk about how evil he is, and he's shredding the Constitution, and I had to bring up the point, like, it's like if I said, I don't understand how some people can think that having sex with a child is okay, and then someone says, well, he said having sex with a child is okay. Did I speak those words in that order? Yes. But was there context before that? Yes. But it was turned into something nefarious. It wasn't the fucking point I was trying to make. So anyway, yeah, the, a sheep no more. I love this fucking website name. This hat is really fucking bothering me. I don't wear them anymore. I'm taking it off. Fuck it. Anyway, <laughs> the funny thing is that so many conspiracy theorists, they are religious. They're Christians for the most part. And they're saying they're a sheep no more, even though Christ being like a shepherd, Lord is my shepherd and all that shit. That's not exactly coincidental. I'm pretty sure that was by design. You're a sheep in his fucking flock. He is guiding you. And by the way, sheep, if you do question things, um, you're not a sheep, okay? Like, sheep, they just go mindlessly through. Kind of like conspiracy theorists do. They accept things without questioning it. As long as it's from the right source. 
if it's from Alex Jones or some site like this, they accept it. And they just listen to him and they just buy into his bullshit. Oh, well, maybe he's wrong on this or this or this, but he's right about everything else. Okay, which, another thing, and I think I'm just going to close this because I think I've bitched long enough. <coughs> Charles, he also said, you know, because someone brought up Snopes. Like, you can check them out. They're actually investigative journalists. And apparently there's a site that says Snopes is wrong about this. Okay, um, I, I don't see how they're wrong. I mean, now, the shit they posted, it's like, okay, I, I guess you could say, like, they were a little off, not wrong, but, oh, yeah, yeah, see, they're wrong. So, automatically, everything is bullshit. Everything there is bullshit. But, Alex Jones, I mean, okay, yeah, he's wrong about this stuff, but he's right about everything else. Okay, so, you give Alex Jones the benefit of the doubt on that one, but not Snopes. Even though it's one fucking author, Alex Jones makes a lot of claims that he cannot provide any sort of concrete evidence for, but you believe it. You know, it's this kind of fucking ironic, hypocritical bullshit that blows my mind. So anyway, yeah. Figured I'd just close with that one. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, again, I'm back into making videos. I've got a couple more that I really want to upload. Because um, I've been out of the game for a while. And fuck it, it's a fun hobby, so... Anyway, this is Bad Five, and I'll see you guys next time.